Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. I'd like to talk today about a function called match. You may well have heard of it, rarely used on its own. Its concept is to return the position value of a cell in a set of data. It's often used in conjunction, as I've mentioned here in the spreadsheet, with VLOOKUP to ascertain the column number to be used in the VLOOKUP formula. Let's see how it works. Here I see that I have some data across five columns and I want to uh, test or check where a particular word appears in that set of data so that I can ascertain the column that the data is in that I need to apply in my VLOOKUP formula. So I've used the word casual and the formula that I typed in is match A26 so I needed, needed it to uh, consider what was an A26 in the array A16 across to E16 and the zero simply means that this data need not be sorted in any particular order. So when I press the uh, return key, it returns for me the number four because the word casual is the fourth column across in that uh, set of data. Uh, if I had typed the word other, then of course it would have returned five, etc. So what I'd like to do now is to show you how to apply the match function in conjunction with VLOOKUP. It can be very powerful when used with the VLOOKUP formula. So how can I apply the match function in conjunction with VLOOKUP? In this particular spreadsheet, I have of course the names of the employees, I have their earnings and I have their status. There are four statuses, full-time, part-time, casual and other. And I want Excel through VLOOKUP to take into account the column that these particular uh, headings are. So this will be column two, uh, uh, my apologies, column one, two, three and four in the uh, in the array here. So what I'm going to do, I can see here already, I've, I've entered a formula in here, but let's just check why I saw 13%. Because the earnings were looked up in VLOOKUP as $15,000. The uh, status was other, therefore it showed me 13%. Now what was the formula that I typed in there? So I'll click on that cell and here it is equals VLOOKUP and look up what's in B4. That's the first thing I want to check. What are the earnings? And for those earnings, uh, look in the range A21 across and down to E27. I used the dollar signs to make the uh, lookup absolute. In other words, don't move outside of that uh, uh, set of data there. And then for the, to look up the column number, I used match. And I said, match what's in C4 in the range A20 to E20. They're not sorted in alphabetical order. So therefore I've used the zero as the third argument there. And that was what gave me that 13%. So all I need to do now is to autofill that down and what it's done, it's looked at uh, a $37,000 um, uh, income. So what it does, it looks at the uh, nearest amount underneath that. Uh, that person is full time, so it returned me 20%. Roland on 9,500 is below 15,000. So Excel always looks down to the nearest value to the nearest exact exact value and uh, he's part-time therefore his rate is 12 percent etc etc so I can see now that the um, 
that the v, v lookup in conjunction with match has returned me the correct answers. This number down here, number two, is simply what I want to show you uh, how it worked. So if I click on there, uh, just to show you how the match worked to find the, um, uh, to find the column number, I said find what's in B20. That was full time in the range A20 across to E20 and of course full time is in the second row there. If I had changed this to um, C20 it would return 3 because the part time in C20 is the third column across and as those of you who use VLOOKUP would know you need the column number uh, to be looked up to give us the answer. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, this, uh, this particular demonstration is just that little bit more advanced, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it is very, very powerful in uh, terms of its use in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for watching.